Well, good morning everyone. Oh, it's one of those days again on Camilla and I. Well, if you live here in the UK, you know that uh, it can uh, rain off and on. And um, it has done now for the last two or three weeks. So uh, you either stay in bed or you actually get out there regardless and uh, bring the umbrella. So uh, here we are today at Blashford Lakes, one of my uh, favourite local nature reserves, Isle of Wight, Hampshire Trust, superb, and uh, here in the UK. So uh, what we're planning on doing today is uh, we're not giving up. We're going to the Goosander Hyde and we're going to the Lapwing Hyde, which are the other side of the road from the visitor centre here at Blashford Lakes. So, uh, yeah, absolutely awesome. And, uh, yeah, we're just packing lightweight today and we'll just see what we've got. But, uh, anyway, let's crack on. And I think, shall we go to the Goosander Hyde? Look, I'll show you, I've got a bit of a dilemma. Shall we go to the Goosander Hyde down the left-hand channel, first of all? Or shall we go down the right-hand channel to the Lapwing Hyde? Well, we'll go to the nearer one first, the Goosander Hyde, which is down here, about 300 metres, because often there's a kingfisher down here. So we'll try this one first. Well, we're just coming up to the uh, Goosander Hyde now, folks, so uh, I must uh, tone it down a bit, keep it a bit quiet. Quick, flip, quick, flip you around here. Quite a nice little area here. Various woodland birds as well. Very nice. But, uh, yeah, we're going in there because it's stopped raining at the moment. But not for long. into the Goosander Hyde without getting too wet. Fortunately it hasn't rained that much at all and uh, luckily we remembered a couple of important things. The German army mat to sit on, Ooh, most important, and a nice cup of coffee because uh, it could get a bit cold in the rain later so uh, anyway cheers. Yeah so we've got a great crested grebe winter plumage first subject of the day so uh, ooh, nice yeah it's just going up and down as they do diving for any uh, small fish or oh, quite large fish sometimes yeah so uh, I've just got Camilla on a bean bag sticking out the window of the hide so uh, and uh, of course we've got the uh, Slight advantage with the Sony A1 and the 600mm f4 so uh, it's a bit gloomy so we are wide open at f4 and that's why we bring the bigger lens because uh, it does let a lot more light into the sensor and that way we can record a better shot anyway yeah this great crest of grebe hasn't caught anything yet, but uh, if it does, hopefully we'll get a bit of footage. But uh, otherwise, not a bad first subject. Oh, Kingfisher. Kingfisher's in. That's a bit far off, but we've got a Kingfisher in. Messy branch going. <laughs> but uh, who cares? Nice to get a kingfisher. It's thinking about hunting. Yeah, don't you just love a kingfisher? Looking for a fish at the moment. Looks like a male. And 
that's off around the corner. Anyway, nice to uh, didn't have to wait long for a kingfisher to turn up at the goosander hide. Uh, shame it picked the most um, messiest branch in the bay, but uh, yeah, there are a few to choose from. Oh, it's Kingfisher Central. Got another kingfisher coming now. Over on the left hand side. Stick over to the left. Where'd it go? Can't see it. It's down there somewhere. I'll pick it out in a minute. It is blue after all. Sometimes this wildlife photography is really tough. Where's it gone? <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. It's in an absolute terrible spot. Even worse than the last one. Could not have picked a, a worse area to uh, fish off from a photographic point of view. Not a single, not a single branch exposed in the open, but no, an entire fallen down forest <laughs> into the uh, lake. Anyway. Yeah, it's just looking around now, so sizing its options up. Is this one going to catch a fish? What have we got? Another male, I think. Yeah, moved on a bit further down. <clears throat> An even better background. Even more twigs behind. Incredible. Still lovely to see. Can't beat a kingfisher. Well, it's getting farther and further away, so uh, yeah, we'll hope the one comes a bit closer in a minute. The winter plumage great crested grebe just keeps on preening at the moment, so uh, yeah, the preening footage. Haven't seen it catch a fish yet today. So, uh, yeah, keep our fingers crossed. Obviously likes this bay. Just took the first photo of the day, which was a uh, cormorant, sort of coming into land, and then thought better of it. So, uh, yeah, that was interesting. Well, no more action at the moment, so uh, I think we'll move on to uh, the lapwing hide. Great already. Lovely to have the kingfisher in the bag, well, a bit of footage, and a great crested grebe, winter plumage, very nice. Onward, catch you in a minute. Wow, good to see it stopped raining at the moment, so uh, yeah, fortune favours the brave, good to get out. Just on our way to the uh, lapwing hide now, just got out of the goosander, and uh, here at Blashford Lakes, and uh, yeah, very pleasant. Get a couple of kingfishers in already. A couple of kingfishers in the bag. Always nice to see the blue thing. Um, job to pick it out on the second one against the uh, dark background with the uh, lots of fallen trees. But still, lovely to get a kingfisher. Didn't catch any fish, but uh, and uh, soon moved on. So that's what we're doing. We're moving on to the lapwing hide and uh, we're going to see what we can get there. Um, about an 800 metre walk from the road, I think, so... Uh, ooh, the lengths we go to on Camilla and I. As you know, we do accessible wildlife photography here. So, uh, yeah, hence we've got the trolley. That's why I'm pulling the trolley at the moment. So, uh, yeah, works a treat. Quick, flip you around. Yeah, so we've got the trolley. Uh, the trolley. So we've got the trolley. Undercover. 
we got the umbrella and we got the bean bag that's all we need operating out of these hides today Maybe today, maybe today. So, um, quick flip you around, because we've got a choice of two apertures. And um, can you guess which one I'm gonna go for? That one, or that one? Have you guessed? Yeah, we're going for the lower one. We, any, any chance you get to get down lower, with a bird, go for the lower option. I'd always recommend photographically. So we're going for this lower one, and we're just going to open this one up. Here at the lapwing hide, um, that was rather nice. No lapwings as usual, but the great crested grebe that I saw on the way in, winter plumage, went fishing in the bay, and uh, yeah, it came up with. Oh, was it a roach? Or was it a perch? I'm not sure. To be identified later on the video, perhaps you can let me know in the comments below. Um, but uh, yeah, I couldn't quite make it out. So, a roach or a perch? Pretty confident it was either one of those two. Anyway, yeah, good sized one as well. So uh, down the hatch with a nice bit of weed, just the way they like them, a little side salad. Ooh, awesome. Well, I don't know what it is with me and the lapwing at this hide. But um, as I say, whenever I come down here, there's hardly ever any lapwing. Not to say that there aren't lots of lapwing around at Blashford Lakes. And uh, I've certainly seen them from the other heights and indeed some flocks of them. And indeed, they're looking out for anyone's with a coloured ring at the moment at Blashford Lakes. So if you see one with a coloured ring at Blashford Lakes, make sure you report it. Yeah, so technique today, we're just using the bean bag and Camilla resting on the bean bag today because, um, well, with these hides, they have these ledges that come out from the centre. You can use a tripod, and indeed I have used a tripod on many occasions before, but um, it's quite possible just with a bean bag and uh, slightly leaning out the window, um, you've got enough support to, uh, with the image stabilisation in cameras these days. You're able to get the footage like I've got so far um, just with the camera set to, um, I've got it on setting three, stabilisation, opt optical, optical stabilisation, optical steady shot, optical steady shot on the Sony. Uh, we've got that set to on and we've got it on all oh, three, three now. Yeah, we've got it on three just for added stability in the shot. So we can get the shot as, as the bird comes around. That's just a seagull, but uh, yeah, you get the idea. So you can just pan around with it. And it gives you the ultimate flexibility. I've got the Peak Design strap as well for security. Just put that on. Um, but uh, yeah, then we, we can respond to any action quite instantly. And uh, as I said earlier, we're wide open F4 because it's so dark today. And we may even put in a bit of positive compensation as well, depending on the colour of the bird. So, uh, yeah, and we're shooting 
one two thousandth of a second obviously for anything moving and uh, anything still we're looking at uh, one five hundredth of a second wide open still f4 beautiful well there's always one little bird you can rely on uh, anyway i'll save the uh, footage to the end because uh, i've got quite a nice little bit of footage of um well can you guess what's around in pairs at this time of year and uh, not a wading bird Oof. yeah so the lesson from today is just because it's raining doesn't mean it has to stop your wildlife photography and certainly on Camilla and I where we do accessible local wildlife photography coming and sticking yourself in a hide is a good option in this instance we went to the lapwing hide this one here and in this instance we went to the goosander hide first of all and very lucky to have a couple of encounters with kingfisher and then uh, here we got treated to a great crested grebe display of how to catch a fish and uh, how to eat a fish i'm varying towards a perch as being the type of fish that the great crested grebes caught i've seen them catch perch before at lanford lakes i think the perch has got a disadvantage because i think it's got those extra long fins on it and it's a bit flatter so uh, yeah it gets picked off a bit easier by the great crested grebe because i have had them with perch before now so uh, bad luck perch change your fin formation um anyway yeah so we even got that and then we got this surprise bird at the end so uh, yeah a little passerine give you another clue so uh, anyway i'll play out with that footage um yeah lovely anyway yeah glad i came nice have a good one bye from camilla and i from blashford lakes the lapwing hide and would you believe it i still haven't seen any lapwing certainly not close enough to photograph anyway lapwing hide well somebody spots them out it's just not me